the Operators Challenge is a mix of our employees and employees of other districts. They get together, they develop friendships, they develop a team, they share ideas, they share the knowledge that they have in the industry. Very simply, the Operators Challenge has improved the district by improving our employees. What can you ask uh, better than have employees that are excited about what they do? And if they get excited about what they do, they're going to do a better job to serve the public. It really benefits because they become team members, not only amongst the four participants, but teams among their, their peers in the whole state of Utah. And we've seen a lot of growth among those that participate, and it makes them realize they can learn from their peers, they can share with their peers, and it truly makes them better operators for our district. It makes them have more interest in their job because they see what this part does in the collection side and, it, and how it can affect everything downstream. So it, it makes them a little more conscious of what goes on and how it affects the overall process. It takes uh, men and women that typically work in anonymity and isolation, doing the most important job in the world. And while they may be proficient at their assigned tasks, they're not always aware of what they're a part of. Participating in Operations Challenge enables them to come to the largest annual water quality event in the world, where perhaps for the first time they're exposed to the breadth of the water quality industry and their crucial role in it, and the virtually limitless opportunities for career advancement. if they're using proper laboratory technique. We're checking the meniscus on graduated cylinders, on volumetric flasks, on pipettes, and uh, checking to see if they can do the math that needs to be done for those analysis. It's way more nerve-wracking than in practicing at Utah. Uh, I was shaking more. I made mistakes I wouldn't make otherwise. Uh, I think we took a little longer on that than we do normally in practice, so we'll see how it does turn out. We was a little slower than we wanted to be, but our goal was to, if it was okay if we did it a little bit slower, we was just trying to not get any penalties and eliminate a bunch of the penalties that we've had in the past from trying to be a little faster. So the collections event uh, was simulating replacing a section of eight inch pipe. Uh, we use hand saws hand, and a hole saw, um, installing a section with two fern codes and an inserted We're also taking sample of what's going through the pipe. We're looking for uh, safety first and foremost. Uh, from start to finish, four people will be able to make four cuts a whole cut and build it all and, and, and place it all together and not have it leak in right around under two minutes. Uh, we did pretty good. I think uh, our run was smooth. We all was able to kind of help each other out and uh, it'll be interesting to see how the results come out. Pretty nerve-wracking first event for the day. Um, I think we did all right. We had a, a, a leak out of the inserted T. Hopefully it's not too big of a penalty against us, but overall I think we did, did fair. This 
is the maintenance event. This year it's sponsored by KSB. What we're looking for, we've got a list of criteria and we're basically trying to make sure that they follow it. We're, we're looking for consistency. We're looking for safe work practices. We're looking for the proper use of tools and uh, looking for these guys to have some fun out here. The maintenance event, I think we did pretty good. We might have a couple of penalties. Um, it's an awesome opportunity to tear a pump out of a hole and check the electrical and find out why it's not working, get it back in working. There's a lot of things, especially with the, with the pump. That, that they have to watch really close, changing the impeller and stuff, gotta get it just right. And so it's 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 pretty close watched, but really fun. I'm judging the safety event. It's an event where we go into a confined space and rescue a victim that's fallen and then repair a valve that caused an issue that caused that victim to be in danger. So we're looking for the safety procedures that take place when you do that. So ladder safety, making sure people use the ladder correctly when they go in a hole. Make sure that they lift the victim in a manner that does not hurt the victim. They're looking to see how safely uh, we do our operation um, and how careful we are with uh, the retrieval of the person in the hole, not banging their head off the scaffolding or anything like that. Just uh, it's, it's mainly about safety for the whole event. Uh, from uh, the looks on the judge's face, I think we did pretty good. Uh, we got a 516 with just one penalty. Uh, we put down, there was zero oxygen. <laughs> but that's okay, it's a small one, so I think we'll, I think we'll do all right. Pretty, uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool feeling to know that uh, there's all these teams that are pretty high up in my books and we were able to take uh, the first place. Oh. We, were, we were hoping to be yeah. in the top 10 yeah. and we got third. I, like, it feels good. <laughs> <laughs> this feels good! Yeah. <laughs> Utah! <laughs> it's been really nice to get to know other plants and how they do things and stuff, so the people. It's fun to meet other operators, see other people that do the same thing as we do. Yeah, we're really excited about having an all-women's team and being the, the first ever. I think it, it's great. We like competing with the men, and I think women bring a different set of skills to the industry that can be very valuable for facilities. So it's been great for our facility and great for us. We've learned a lot and really enjoy it. It's been great to be part of a team to know that I, without me doing my job, we're not a, a team. Working together as a team, you know, learn patience and, and uh, just team effort and all having a part and having to do it good or else it affects the whole team. You don't want to let your team down. Just being around the people in the Operations Challenge program, it, it makes you want to be better. Morale, cross-training and team building, Operations Challenge reaches this sector of the industry more effectively than any program that we have. Here.